guys it's Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Truckers Lounge on another trip to catch a very cool and rare truck for the elusive Dodge cab overs. Let's take a look. Oh, I think I am in the right place. Looky there. I think I hit gold. Hey, this is Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Truckers Lounge. Got a good, uh, Good, uh, well, I'd say buddy. I just met him, but I consider him a buddy. All <laughs> yep. you guys are my buddies Absolutely. here. Absolutely. This is Don, and he's got his, his friend uh, Dan and his son Joe here, who also brought us a treat. So we've got some Dodge uh, vintage iron to look at today. So, Don, tell me a little bit about your truck. Well, not a little bit. Tell me a lot about your truck. <laughs> it's a 72 LNT 1000, 250 Cummins, 13 speed. Has a big sleeper on it. They made two size sleepers. This is actually the bigger one. Okay. It has the deluxe interior. I didn't interior. realize they made the two sizes. Yeah, they made a day cab and two size sleepers. Oh. Okay. They made th three cab configurations, all aluminum cab. I bought it from the guy that bought it brand new. It's got a bunk heater in it, which was an option. It has power steering, which was an option. It has the 250 Cummins, which was an option. It came standard with a 230 Cummins. Uh huh. And the 13 speed, and like I say, the deluxe interior had all the trim panels on the interior. It wasn't just a bare, you know, steel interior. Right. But now, uh, this looks much nicer than what you said you got it. <laughs> wasn't it, wasn't it uh, in the gardening business or something? Yes, when it, it had trees growing <laughs> out of it. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. That's a pretty nice uh, recovery for having trees growing through yep. it. Yep, yep. And uh, you said you've had this uh, for how long now? Had it, uh, I think it's going on 10 years now. Okay. Yep. I bought it from the guy that bought it brand new. And what did he do with it? What he hauled radiators for Chrysler from Blackstone Industries in Jamestown. And then he hauled produce. They went all the way to Florida and back with this, bring produce back. But, and he had two of these and, a, and he had a big horn and two Dodge cab overs. This orange one behind me is is one of his other ones we're going to take a look at that too. and that one is the exact condition these were parked next to each other they're the same exact condition when, when i got this white one look yeah. just like this orange one does wow the wheels are rotted the hub the spacers and they're they're identical spec trucks although this one doesn't have an engine anymore but what uh do you have any plans for this one or is this just parts no for you? i took a couple parts off i took a fender off of it and a couple little things here and there but i don't know i i may sell it i don't know what i'm going to do with it yet 
Don't say that word, sell, please. <laughs> <laughs> I might get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a custom interior in it. Yeah, give her a give her a pull. There you go. There we go. That's what mine looked like <laughs> when uh, when I first got it. <laughs> there was quite a bit of wildlife living in there. The doors were wide open. There was uh, actually a tree growing right through the cab with <laughs> vines and everything. So obviously you had to, uh, how did you remove that? How big around was the tree? Oh, uh, there was one about three inches coming up through the frame. Oh, okay. I hired a guy with a wrecker to pull it out and my son had a low boy trailer and he picked, the guy picked mine up and set it on the low boy. <laughs> and this one here, a buddy of mine, we drug it, drug it out of the field with my pickup and drug it on his low boy. I remember that company. Yeah, Ezor. Didn't they have like light green trucks, yes. lime green colored or something yep. somehow? Yeah, see? Yep. Man, we're going way back for me. But as I was uh, telling you, it's probably been 45, 46 years since oh, okay. I've seen one of these up close. And right. uh, the street that I lived on, um, there was a gentleman down the road that had one of these. And man, okay, I just... It had my eye, he custom painted it, and he hauled steel. A lot of the guys that were in my neighborhood were steel haulers. Right, right. Uh, there was probably five on my street. There was yeah. uh See, this is actually the fender that was on that truck. They side swiped it and okay. I took the fender off and swapped the fender on and it. And this one you said had a Detroit, didn't it? No, this this had the same Cummins in oh, it. Oh, okay, yep. okay. Yep, I have a buddy that has one with an 8V71 in. Okay, that's in what Rochester. you telling me. Yep. They both had 13 speeds. They were both deluxe interiors. Yep. Well, and actually, they put the Dodge puts the lubrifier on upside down because you can't couldn't pull the filter out because the jack bracket for the cab jack and everything. If you look on mine, is right here. Right. So you pull a, pull it out the bottom. Most of the time, I you didn't pull. Know the, they would function like that. Yeah, okay. you pull them out the top most of the time, but. You know, this this is the thing. You know, you used to have all these. Oh yeah, all these numbers yep. and markings and yep. Uh, all your decals and your bingo cards that used to have on yep. these, just crazy. Well, that's why I left the white is all original. I never, I didn't do anything but clean it up and wax it. I, I like left that. the stickers on it. I and I, everybody asked me when you're going to paint it, and no. I don't think I'm going to. No, I. Uh, you, in my opinion, anyway, the way you've done it, the way I like to see. I did drunk. the bottom half because that was pretty damaged and beat up, and yep. but. The top, I think, you know, I, I have the, orig the original stickers are still on there. This was on the road in 86 before I bought it. Yeah, see that. This is was the original battery. My buddy had a new old stock cover, and this is, I got the cover from him. I had to have the box remade, but I do not have the batteries in here. They used to have, the, if you look on the other one, they had the air tanks stacked. Okay. I got this box from my son. The fuel tank was here. They jackknifed the cab and bent the tank all up. So I put this box, I, I made, bra I fabbed up brackets myself to bolt this box in the same position the tank was. And I got one of those great big batteries in there. Oh yeah. And I mounted, I, I made up all the brackets and I mounted the air tanks under there. Okay. Yeah. I bent up all that band steel and. Uh, You're running what, 22 fives on there? 22 fives, yeah. yep. I got some mismatched tires at them on the change eventually. Oh, that's awful. You're going to ruin my yeah. video. <laughs> <laughs> but if you look, the main airlines were copper. Yes, they and are it, on my cracker box. I was amazed. I and was, I what? left them that way. I left the main airlines all copper, coming down all the way down the frame from the compressor all the way back yeah. here. I didn't know they did that. Yep. Yeah, this was a pretty mess. I mean, uh, the vent caps were rotted off the rear ends. They were sure. full of water. I tipped them up. I pumped diesel fuel through them. I swabbed them out. I flushed them out. With I, I spent, put all new bearings and everything. I did a, you know, a lot of work. Yeah. Fifth wheel came off. I act, they had square angles here, and they always rotted. I had a couple of old frame rails, so I cut the angle iron all off, and I used frame rails, and they ex matched these frame rails exactly yeah and i re-welded everything on and the cool. fenders are off my my 07 peterbilt I, I i brought that home and i took those right off so i had the quarter fenders yeah but this was an aluminum tank and it was pretty pitted up so right. i i ended up painting it but it's straight pipe there's no 
no muffler on it. Oh, we're going to hear that puppy yep. a little bit here. It sounds good. It's uh, the back of the cab. I put the diamond plate on there. Like I say, they jackknifed oh, yeah. it and they had a big repair panel there. And I, I made stencil out and cut that diamond plate, put that on the lower half of the cab. I rebuilt the jack, the latch mechanism for the tilting of the cab. Um, does that have a yeah pump right there's the pump. pump yeah yep but see the way the with the exhaust and everything you could you can't pull this out the top that's mm -hmm. why they put it on upside down the lubrifier yeah. these I made it didn't have these and I fabricated this stuff up so I didn't get anything going back on her now, there's no front brakes on it I mean they didn't require yeah them then. yeah my Pete doesn't either 74 yep. here's 72 yep. so. But the jacking mechanism, I was able to get that working. Uh, the power steering cylinder was all scored. It has a uh, like a sl big slave cylinder on the power steering. I could show you that. I had to have that, a new piston and cylinder made up for that. It has a valve on the top of the power steering or the gearbox, and it controls this cylinder for the for the power okay. steering. Boy, that's nice. Got that nice and clean. Yeah, I painted it up and did a lot of stuff with it. I'm Actually, a friend of mine gave me those wheels. That's the old style buds. Uh huh. And they were going to scrap them. They were inside duels. And I da ate them down and da ate them down and then polished them. And they, I, I sandblasted the insides and cleared them. I did the interior myself. I made all the door, new door panels and the, some of the ceiling panels. I carpeted it all. New clutch slave cylinder. This has a hydraulic clutch on it. I put slave cylinder, new clutch master cylinder. I think your cracker box might have that. Yep, same one. Same one. It's a Wagner made them. These panels I made oh, yeah. because when you stood here, you looked up under the dash and saw all the wiring and the gauges, and I made templates. I said I could make a nice sure. filler panel for that. Mm -hmm. I actually made a set for my buddy Bill in Rochester for his truck because he's giving me parts and you know, we yeah. That's the way it's done. Trade stuff off and do stuff, and we do a lot of shows. Like I say, shows together. My buddy in Florida, I call him Cab Over Bob. He had a cab over Kenworth, and we used to truck together hauling asphalt. And he he got I couldn't find that six inch aluminum air intake, and he got it for me for my birthday. Nice, <laughs> nice. And he li he lives in Florida now. He's been there quite a few years. He retired from driving and he moved to Florida, but he, he gave me that aluminum, brand new aluminum pipe for my you birthday. You know what's even harder to find probably is the top, boy. Oh, that Donaldson, yeah, I I looked and looked online. I finally found one somewhere, Donaldson made it. Yeah, uh, Dodge didn't make it this nice. <laughs> well, the guy that drove this truck when it was brand new was here to look at it a couple of years ago. And, he, and the guy had tears in his eyes. I bet. Yeah, his wife used to go with him to Florida. She hadn't passed away since then. But he sat up in there, I got pictures of him. And